This past weekend, I had a conversation with my siblings about the coronavirus vaccine. The culmination of all these components has really proven that the majority of people in the world are sheep. And I don't mean that in a good way, like lambs of God. No, I mean most people at their core, when faced with adversity, are weak, compliant, and scared. They are readily and willingly led to the slaughter. They are not willing to put up a fight or struggle. They won't even voice so much as a groan in protest or opposition to their execution. No, they just fall in line and do what they are told. The analogy of the sheep and the coronavirus is very fitting, since on Wednesday, April 14th, a mysterious goat appeared in Death Valley National Park. The goat could be bad for native bighorn sheep because domestic goats are a known vector of a respiratory disease that is fatal to bighorn sheep. So here we have a goat which represents Satan bringing about a respiratory disease like coronavirus to the sheep in Death Valley. Coincidence? As I said, most people are sheep and most of these people have a severe aversion to any information that contradicts disproves or challenges the propaganda that they have been intravenously force-fed by the mainstream media most are conditioned psychologically to do what they are told without question without the slightest bit of resistance to kneel before their masters, to crawl abjectly on the ground with their faces downward in an obsequious manner in hopes of pleasing their oppressor. This is what I was referring to in the video about the Orange County shooting and its connection to the movie A Clockwork Orange, when the main character was forced to endure classical conditioning and aversion therapy to cure him of his undesirable traits. This is the equivalent of watching all the propaganda fed to you by the news media on a constant basis. What they were telling you through the mass shooting in Orange, California is that mankind is a clockwork orange. Since orange is the color of the sacral chakra, which supposedly controls emotions and desires, they are inferring that you are their science project and they can adjust your thinking by manipulating your emotions and desires to fit their agenda effortlessly, like clockwork. This brings us to the Milgram experiments. The Milgram experiments on obedience to authority figures was a series of social psychology experiments conducted by Yale University psychologist Stanley Milgram. The fact that this scientist was from Yale connects his experiment with the skull and bones or order of death. Thank you.